Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. It's my honor to be connecting with you today. It is Thursday and who knows what is the date. We'll call it the 19th of the month. Probably not too far off on that, give or take a day. Thank you for joining me today on this most important day. I suspect that all of us can use a little more patience, which is, of course, the subject matter of today's live stream. <clears throat> sometimes my subjects follow where I'm at in life. Uh, sometimes the subject matter follows where other people are at, the people that I connect with, consult with, do blessings for. And sometimes I just follow heaven's guidance. This morning it was following heaven's guidance. They said, assist people with developing patience. And I thought, hmm. I wonder what information in, in the various books can assist people with this using the wisdoms of soul power and, and Tao, the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us that I share with you. And um, <clears throat> so we're going to find out today what that's all about. I do have a very special blessing for everybody that, that uh, stays and watches all the way through this one hour live stream. If you're one of those that just floating through and this is of interest to you but you don't quite have enough time to watch the whole live stream then my encouragement is that you uh, subscribe so then you'll know uh, when I go live. And then also um, uh, come back to the same Facebook page, a friend me, and then you can also watch my previous live streams. As well listed above this video is access to my podcasts and uh, access to the previous live streams. So there's many ways you can stay in touch and connect within your own doable time frame. For all those that are new, I also, I do this for a reason. I do this to inform you of the power of Tao, the power of soul, but also because I, I am a certified master teacher who has received extraordinary abilities to offer blessings and transmissions that can liter literally, within moments, remove lifetimes of suffering from your life in a very short period of time, uh, depending on, of course, what the suffering is. So for those that are new, if that's of interest to you, you can also go to my website, listed above here and give you a little more information. So I'm honored to serve you. We're starting to, to gather some souls here today. I see over 20 so far have gathered. So I'm going to connect with those souls. <coughs> and Aloha Lisa Zarniak. Welcome Thuiba. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Thank you for your unconditional service, Kristen. Welcome Suki Singh. Uh, Aloha Jose. Welcome also to Linda Jansen. Welcome Tony Seymour. And welcome Atena. Welcome also to uh, Janice Crosby. Aloha. Welcome Heather. Aloha CJ. Aloha to Shelly. And welcome also to Ignacio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aloha Ilona coming in late from Europe. Welcome Donna Krawina. Thank you for joining Donna. Welcome Claudia. Thank you also for joining Claudia. I see a few new names here. It's always wonderful to see some new faces, new names. Welcome Tanya. Aloha Kila. And Aloha Wayne, Aloha NNC. Welcome also to uh, Nelson, Aloha. Welcome Pat. And welcome Diane Powers. So uh, as we wait for others to gather, <coughs> it's an interesting subject matter. Uh, this whole week I've had some interesting subjects to cover. Uh, earlier in the week we talked about um, how to reconnect more with our beloved Creator. Uh, and a lot of that boiled down to simply opening our heart center a lot more. And it touched on that when we open our heart center, it's much easier to resolve our financial problems, much easier to resolve our relationship problems, because we're able to hear Heaven's guidance a lot more clearly, make choices that we think maybe our mind is making, but in fact when our heart is open uh, through specific practices, um, we actually hear Heaven's guidance and respond and reply to it, which makes less trouble for us and solves the problems a lot faster. That was just one of the many workshops that we have done this week. So it's been a, a very valuable series of um, wisdom offered this week. <coughs> Welcome also to Julia Lawrence. And so uh, sometimes when I have time, I put up my little sign here, developing patience. I put that in the front of the uh, video. I uh, have to actually go on to the software program and make it in reverse because it shows up on the computer here in reverse. 
But uh, I think that helps everybody that's new, kind of wondering what this is all about. Um, let us go ahead and initiate calling in the beings of light, connecting heart to heart and soul to soul. For anyone that's new, uh, we work with four powers, soul power, body power, mind power, sound power. And so we're going to start with the body power. So we're going to use what's called the soul light, soul service hand position, which is like a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. So your left hand goes over your heart center, your right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Let's close our eyes and let us connect. Dear beloved creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, all beings of light, committees serving the plan of the light side, including angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, buddhas, bodhisattvas, our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and beloved Kuan Yin, beloved Master Maya, Master Cynthia, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask for your presence as appropriate for whatever uh, wisdom, guidance, and blessings can be offered today. We ask you to come to sit at each of our heart centers to help us fully open our hearts to further awaken to our soul and its journey. Specifically for today, we ask that you guide us to further understand the wisdom related to patience and a lack thereof. Please bless us to unwind, unroot, and remove those causes of impatience, giving us the opportunity to plant new seeds of love and compassion in its place. We are very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, for those that are new, we chant for the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. It's currently in 43 languages in, around the world. Now, people chant this uh, Source Soul Song all over the world, typically at noon, for about five minutes as a service to humanity because it creates a collective positive field. So we will use this song to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. You're welcome to make a request at this time because it is a blessing. And at some point, I hope you choose to download it and become a part of the solution, so to speak, because when we can all uh, chant the exact same mantra, if you will, of bringing love, peace and harmony, collectively we can make a difference. So prepare to receive. Everybody else, you're welcome to join in. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. <coughs> lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Again, for those that are new, this is a blessing. Make a request to heaven. I will sing one more round. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wong 
中，相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I bow my head to all of those who have come today, and I thank you for your desire to grow your soul journey, to receive the guidance, wisdom, and blessings. I am just a vessel to deliver, and I'm very grateful to my spiritual teacher, Master Shah, for um, preparing me with the wisdom that I can share this to serve you. <clears throat> so, welcome also to Rosemary Fitz. Uh, Fitz. Welcome also to Angela. Welcome Don Robinson. Aloha Candy. Aloha also to Donna Crowina. Welcome Waltrud Heschel. And welcome Crystal. Welcome Sonia. Aloha Becky. <coughs> and aloha and welcome to everybody else if I have not mentioned your name already. Thank you so much for the opportunity to connect with you today and to serve you. Today is about developing patience, understanding the root cause of what creates our impatience and then how we can uproot those roots and plant new seeds so that we can be uh, in the right place to create the greatest possible benefit for our life moving forward <clears throat> now this is not a race it is a marathon which means that you have time to make these shifts so a lot of folks, they want to make changes in their lives, uh, but then they become impatient with themselves, <laughs> okay? So the first thing you want to be aware of is you have to be patient with yourself. Um, habits take time to break. Habits take responsibility. Habits take intention and desire, but it does not assist us to be um, judgmental or critical to ourself. That is one of the first shifts that need to be made. If we're going to move to the place uh, that is best for us from impatience to a place of love and compassion, which is the um, uh, virtuous opposite, then we need to be able to first have love and compassion to self when we do anything that causes uh, ourselves to be impatient with self. Now, of course, there's impatience with others, which a lot of you responded to just seeing this calling on Facebook you're like yeah I have a lot of impatience issues but most of us fail to see that we have impatience with self as well now that's going to be more uh, more predominant with the a type personality the the perfectionist type of personality um, but in terms of uh, being loving and compassionate to self it's very 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 important my teacher and spiritual father, Master Shah, has brought some basic foundational teachings to us about the nature of soul. When we um, employ soul power in our life, it can dramatically uh, bring great enhancements to our life and it can substantially release blockages. So I will do a brief teaching for anybody that's new so that the rest of the wisdom that's shared will have some foundation. Uh, the brief teachings are that everyone and everything has a soul, not just human beings. Everything, every speck of energy, every speck of matter, because Creator created it, has Creator consciousness, has Creator soul. Therefore, everything has a soul. Uh, that's the first predetermination. The second is that every soul's purpose is to serve. So that means that um, the souls of those that cause us to be impatient, because we're blaming them, right? It couldn't possibly be our fault must be their fault so the souls that cause us anger that causes impatient all those souls that irritate us um, they are souls and guess what they are serving us so that's the second 
important piece of information. Every soul, regardless of something good and wonderful happening to us, or something that causes irritation and anger, uh, problems, financial problems, relationship problems, doesn't matter. Every soul's purpose is to serve. So instantly, for those that are new, this causes you to raise an eyebrow a little bit and go, okay, how is this person serving me when they just dumped on me, blah, blah, blah. We're getting there. Um, the next thing about the understanding the nature of soul is that you can communicate directly to souls. And we're gonna be doing that today. The nature of every soul is um, carries message. So soul is a carrier of message. It has been validated, science has validated, that DNA can be altered by thought alone. What is DNA? DNA is part and parcel of the energy and matter that, that is part of creation. So our soul is part of creation. Everyone and everything has a consciousness as just stated. Science has now validated that and that that consciousness can be manipulated by thought. So that means that where we place our thoughts has a direct impact on the outcome of our life. Now, many of you already knew that, but applying that specifically to uh, having patience for self, love and compassion for self, and then for others, we want to recognize that specific um, uh, piece of wisdom. Our thoughts can impact everything. So how can we be loving and compassionate to others first if we're not loving and compassionate to self? Do you think your beloved creator has, you know, today, I was, I was gonna, I'll finish the sentence. Do you think our beloved creator has impatience and a lack of tolerance with us? Do you think our loving creator um, is, is, is just doesn't doesn't like you or, or, or is, is, is just as judgmental towards you as you are towards self highly unlikely I saw a sign today I was upstairs chatting with a friend uh, and then rushing over to my home to finish this live stream and <clears throat> there was a gentleman outside I was on the second floor and this gentleman outside had this big sign up and it said and this is not a slam this is I'm using this as a uh, as a delivery of a, of a message the sign said um, trust, trust or go to Jesus, something like that. And then below it was second, uh, because he will save you from a, a, um, angry God. I think it was, it was angry God or spiteful God or something like that. So go to Jesus because he will save you from an angry God. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, what a message. How difficult would that be for anybody to go through life thinking that their creator is always angry with them? Very difficult message. Uh, I come from a belief system that our creator is and has always been 100% perfect love. And given that we're all offspring of that creator, we also come with that same message. Therefore, uh, all souls carry a consciousness and that consciousness carries original message of original soul, original creator. I'm not asking you to believe that. Uh, you're, you uh, must hold on to whatever is important to you. Uh, I offer you this as a piece of information that potentially could assist you with moving from a place of uncomfortability, a place of um, pain and suffering, to a place of non-suffering. And part of moving from where you're at to there, might you might need to release some attachments or beliefs that state that that you are insufficient or not enough. This boils back to uh, judging and criticizing self and being impatient with self, okay? So that's the circle. I'm trying to draw you a circle where all of these have aspects that cause us to say unpleasant things to ourself, do unpleasant things towards ourself, and think unpleasant things about ourself. That we cannot be patient loving, compassionate to others until we start by taking care of self. Does that make sense? And in order to take care of self and be loving and compassionate to self, we have to identify those roots first. And those roots very, very often uh, come with the foundation of not being enough, not being loved, not being accepted, not being approved, being insufficient in the eyes of our creator, blah, 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 blah. Right? There's different verbiages and different languages, all the different ways it comes to us. But those absolutely <clears throat> can cause us to have this insufficiency. 
Of course, then we have our beloved parents and our peers, our, our uh, belief systems, our teachers, and the society that we grow up in, a competitive-based society that says, he's better than you, you're less than him, your brother is smarter than you, why are you so stupid, right? All of these wonderful things that come to us through the course of life. <clears throat> but that, in very often, in very many cases, is based in... Um, our karma <laughs> unfortunately those people that say those unpleasant things to us those things that are not truth um, often say those things to us because it's our opportunity to receive that service remember I told you every soul is serving us so those unpleasant things that come to us uh, are a service they're giving us the opportunity to go hmm I'm not sure I like that I'm not sure that resonates with what I know to be true about a divine loving creator and um, I'm not sure I like this message about being less than somebody else I'm not sure I like that after uh, so a part of us fights that because we know at the soul level that it's not necessarily correct information but those souls are delivering it to us in many cases because we may have said the same things to them at a different point in time how difficult would that one be to swallow right what if the what if you were the one saying to somebody else you know maybe you were the parent and you were saying you're insufficient you're not enough you'll never grow up to anything you'll never be anything all you do is eat the books and eat the books and throw away the covers you know uh, you'll never be as smart as your brother or your sister you know, many people grow up with these kinds of pressures and, and competition based inputs and it creates a lack of love for self a lack of self-esteem of course but that results in a lack of um, a love for self. <clears throat> this, of course, creates a judgmental situation, a judgmental situation towards self. That's why, that's the root cause of why we are judgmental and impatient towards others. Now, it can show up in many different ways. It can show up with driving. That's for me, right? I'm impatient with other people's insufficient driving skills. But I know that the root of it is not that. The root of it has to do with judgment and criticism. And the root of judgment and criticism is not enough uh, alignment of this part we've just been spending the last five or ten minutes on. So when we get to the blessings, when we get to the parts to serve you, to help you unwind some of this and plant new roots, we're going to address this. We're going to address the self-criticism. We're going to do forgiveness with all of those that have... Uh, taught us that we are less than insufficient all the belief systems that taught us that uh, that there's a judgmental or a critical creator um, we're going to offer forgiveness to all those that brought us this information and we're going to ask for forgiveness for all the times we have taught uh, and pushed upon this false information upon others for those of you that are parents or peers to others that listen to you it's very very important that you put the brakes on this kind of communication because it's not serving your future certainly and it potentially is creating additional karma that you don't want to be creating so not only will you be unwinding and stopping your own actions moving forward <clears throat> but you want to be conscientious of not creating competitive environments not judging one child over another for example um, not putting a child in a place where they feel they have to do or achieve something just to get your love okay because that creates uh, a false teaching basically it creates a a teaching similar to you'll never be good enough to receive God's love that's the baseline of these kinds of ways we communicate with our children and the way our parents in many cases have communicated with us someone along the, the line of the lineage needs to stop this um, process of you have to do A, B, and C to receive love. Otherwise, it's insufficient. You're insufficient because uh, all of this creates the roots of judgment and criticism. Now, the subject is patience, developing patience. But the root is judgment and criticism because that's what creates our impatience. I'm going to, I'm, I'm kind of, I want you to see that connection. I'll cover it again. Okay. So um, let's see some of the comments here and then I'll move forward. Welcome, Vanessa. 
Welcome Jennifer Crest Smith. Welcome uh, Angie Sweetness. Welcome Quincy. Welcome Andrea. Aloha Bell Soprano. Welcome also to Jax. Giovanna, welcome. Okay, and welcome Alexandria. Thank you all for joining. Thank you also for sharing. Um, again, if you need to leave, uh, please subscribe on the Facebook page. You'll know when I go live. And these are recorded, so you can come back to the page and watch them. And if it's just difficult to watch live, but you do want to pay attention to the, this previous wisdoms or future wisdoms, um, I do have a podcast that you can subscribe to. All that information is listed above the video. Okay, so it's it's a half hour in. I'm going to offer a, a very special transmission in a few minutes here to everybody that's watching, everybody that's listening. <clears throat> and I have to give a little bit of a precursor to it so that you know the value of it and you know how to use it. Uh, my teacher, Master Shah, uh, is a dedicated servant to humanity, written over 20 books, 11 New York Times bestsellers. His whole purpose in life is to awaken humanity and to serve unconditionally. He understands the nature of the human struggle. He's been here many, many times. And as a, as a uh, very high level being, uh, he has been empowered to transmit uh, to people, to objects, to books, to things like that, uh, power. Power that if we apply, um, we can significantly enhance our transformation process. Okay? So I will uh, deliver to those that are interested in receiving a special transmission that's been placed in one of his books. Now this transmission uh, is extraordinary. If any of you have third eye, I would greatly appreciate your comments about what you might have seen <clears throat> when I deliver this to everybody. Um, we're very blessed that these kinds of blessings have been given to humanity because the purpose of them is to assist us with our transformation process so that we can stop suffering, basically. Uh, our individual karmas, if you will, our, our spiritual debts can become so predominant that they can create a great deal of pressure on us. And so we become very impatient. We become... Uh, unable to deal with the daily things that come at us from every direction. The idea of soul and soul power is to unravel those impatiences by bringing soul power in. So when I deliver this transmission, we will use it along with our forgiveness practice uh, to clear the blockages. And again, for those that are new, the forgiveness practice is a very predominant part of this wisdom and this teachings. And the root uh, cause of all success in your life, all the good things, and the root cause of all the unpleasant things, is our spiritual virtue that creates the good things, and our spiritual debts that create the unpleasant things. Good karma, bad karma, however you want to verbiage it. So we must be responsible for those. And if we want to have a happier, healthier life, we have to be responsible in releasing some of the blockages. Therefore, forgiveness practice and the treasures that I'll be offering all assist with that release as quickly as possible. Okay? <coughs> all right. So in this book, which you're welcome to get if you'd like, it's called Tao Song Tao Dance. It's one of Master Shaw's higher level books, has quite a bit of pretty high level wisdom and teachings in there. Um, extraordinarily powerful. A lot of information here on the five elements, a lot of information here on the seven chakras, the kind of information you're really only going to get if you sit with the guru for 10 years. Okay, So if you really want to have um, soul food, you know, food for your soul where you comprehend deeply the nature of the chakras, their purpose, power, and significance, and so forth, Tao Song Tao Dance, exceptional book. <clears throat> and in this book, to assist us with clearing our blockages in our chakras, wherever you want to apply these blessings at, uh, today we're going to apply them for developing patients, uh, he transmits these very special transmissions. Now, I am going to, for whoever is interested in receiving, as a divine, uh, as a 
certified master teacher. They just changed our names. So as a certified master teacher, I've been authorized to transmit these uh, from the books to you. And so I will do so for those that are ready to receive. <coughs> so this is going to be a golden light ball and golden liquid spring of Tao Compassion. These are soul, mind, and body transplants. In essence, if you could see them, they're going to look like huge golden balls, way bigger than your body. They'll come into your, uh, into your aura, and they will assist you with clearing blockages, okay? If you're not interested, you just tell heaven, I'm not interested. That's okay. Uh, it's only for those that are, that are willing to receive, all right? So if you wish to receive, close your eyes, sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Touch your feet to the floor. Uh, if, you, if you're lying down, that's okay. Uh, close your eyes. <clears throat> Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. This will help complete the circle of energy running through your body. If it's not uncomfortable, touch your heels together on the ground. This also roots you to Mother Earth. Okay? Back away from the back of the chair. Prepare to receive. So now I will offer a permanent Tao treasure that you can apply to self-clear soul-mind-body blockages. <clears throat> if, again, if you're not interested in receiving, just tell heaven you're not interested. Otherwise, you will receive it. Prepare. Dao order through the authorities given by my teacher to me to deliver from these books to the students. Dao golden light ball <coughs> and Dao golden liquid spring of Dao compassion soul mind body transplants to all those watching now and in the future. All those listening to the podcast now and in the future as appropriate. Prepare. Transmission. Watch and feel. You are all very, very, very blessed. Congratulations. Dao Order, join. Dao Golden Light Ball, Golden Liquid Springs, the Soul Man Body Transplants of Dao Compassion as one. Transmission. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yo. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay. Wow. Very, very powerful. So if anybody has a spiritual third eye and they're able to see anything, please share. Uh, see if anybody else has joined us while I had my eyes closed. Welcome Linda Martinez. Welcome Rianne. Welcome Victor. Well, welcome uh, Eric Cecil. And welcome Catherine. So, Catherine, if you did tune in in time and you saw uh, this transmission, please share what you might have seen. Catherine has an amazing third eye. It's very, very powerful. <clears throat> You're very welcome. So, what did you receive? You received an extraordinary permanent Tao treasure. Tao is a very high frequency. And this came to your soul. It'll actually take a few days to integrate. Um, but we can ask it to serve right away. In essence, it's, a, it's an extraordinary, um, very heavenly based frequency and um, when it comes to us we can ask it to turn on now the frequency is specific to the um, to the uh, subject of compassion it's divine compassion it's Tao it's source compassion think about your level of compassion my compassion if I was to put it on a scale would probably be like a 
maybe a three and a half or four compared to let's say you know a Jesus or a Kuan Yin or a Buddha so what's our level of compassion compared to the compassion of, of our Creator right this carries that frequency and it comes to us it's a blessing that has been gifted to humanity to assist us in further awakening to our soul journeys and giving us uh, power to transform our personal blockages we're going to use this now to assist us with transforming uh, patience concerns impatience okay <clears throat> so I see a lot of comments Kayla super tingles down her spine and arms um, two merging lights says Ignacio and Angie Angie's saw white mist uh, NNC so much light are you very welcome a heaviness in the upper sinuses says Wayne that's probably incorporating into your body uh, Rosemary saw a heart and a cone shaped object Eric stuck in the airport trying to get home so grateful I hope these frequencies serve you Eric make sure you ask for blessings uh, to for the flights to work out Quincy saw golden light balls come from the left side looked like a video game great Quincy Kayla saw lightning rods body also got hot um, now seeing yellow Catherine saw a huge flash of purple and blue light and then a spherical shape and white light inside she sees white plumeria towers falling onto our crown chakras thank you it's good for people to understand the spiritual images that represent what you have all received <clears throat> Muriel they were using their spiritual third eye uh, something that is taught in some of my courses but not this one so congratulations uh, to all of you that have received this blessing Muriel if you missed that you're gonna have to go back to see it and um, Andrea said felt heat on his feet <clears throat> so now let us apply this we will apply the four powers let's place our hands again in the hand mudra so much like a prayer position we're gonna drop the left hand in front of the uh, heart center the right hand remains gently pointed towards heaven we're going to close our eyes let us truly become present because when we do this practice and we're truly fully present we will receive far 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 greater benefit we want to transform our lack of patience close your eyes thank you for all the beautiful comments let us connect to this treasure and to the soul world please if it is comfortable repeat after me dear my beloved creator all layers of the divine the Tao the source all the beings of light who have come at this time they are my individual heavens teams guides angels and saints my name is Paul Fletcher Paul Fletcher Paul Fletcher you state your name I love you I honor you deeply respect you ask most humbly and sincerely for your blessings today to bless me to clear my blockages related to a lack of patience please bless me to clear self-created blockages related to self-judgment self-criticism I'm very very grateful thank you thank you thank you and now we will do a forgiveness practice for all those things that lead up to a lack of patience with self and with others please if comfortable repeat after me <clears throat> dear all the souls that I or my ancestors have harmed in this and all time if we have caused you to suffer physical pain emotional pain mental blockages negativity anything that has caused you to be out of alignment with the original love of your original creator if I or my ancestors have spoken to you in a way that taught you wrong or incorrect information where you felt you were insufficient less than where you were uh, taught information that you needed to be higher or better than others to be seen with love gratitude and appreciation if I or my ancestors have taught you false 
teachings that said that your Creator's love was conditional and therefore you felt insufficient. From my heart and soul, I sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors have ever judged you or criticized you, put you down, made you feel low self-esteem, from my heart and soul, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I recognize now that it is possible I have done these things to you, for in my life I have found it difficult to be loving and compassionate to myself and to others. I find that I am self-critical, judgmental to myself and to others. And I recognize that it could be because of the negative debt I and my ancestors have created with you. I ask my beloved Creator and all of the souls that I or my ancestors have harmed to please offer your unconditional forgiveness. I have learned my lessons. I will make others happier and healthier. I will do my best to remove self-judgment and self-criticism, to see that my beloved Creator loves me unconditionally, and I will, when communicating with others, offer greater love and greater compassion <clears throat> instead of impatience, judgment, and criticism. I ask all the beings of light that have been called forth to please assist me with clearing the blockages wherever they're at on my body. Continue to repeat, dear the soul of the transmission I just received, the rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring of Tao compassion. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Can you please Offer me a blessing with all these other spiritual beings to clear my soul, heart, mind, and body blockages for a lack of patience, love, and compassion towards self and towards others. I am most grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Welcome, Mahansuki Singh. Welcome, Janan Dao, and anybody else, welcome. We will now uh, use these treasures with our eyes closed. Visualize this golden light balls that have come to you. Visualize these deities of light, beloved creator, and more in your heart center, radiating compassion to yourself, to your inner child, radiating compassion to all those you have been critical of and judgmental towards. We will chant divine compassion with this creative visualization. <clears throat> Let us begin. Divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion. Divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion. Divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion. Send your love and compassion. See your inner child, the one that received the criticalness from the parents and peers, the one that received the judgments from the parents and peers and possibly their belief systems. See this inner child filling, being filled up with love and compassion. 
divine and Tao, love and compassion. See this child forgiving all those that offered wrong teachings. See yourself offering love and compassion to all those that offered wrong teachings. Continue to serve them. Continue to forgive yourself. Divine compassion. Divine compassion. Divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion, divine compassion. Dao compassion, that's what you received. Let us chant Dao compassion. Dao compassion. Dao compassion. Dao compassion. Dao compassion. Dao compassion. Thou compassion, thou compassion, thou compassion, thou compassion, thou compassion, thou compassion. Thou compassion, <coughs> divine and thou compassion, divine and thou compassion, divine and thou compassion, divine and thou compassion, divine and thou compassion. Releases impatience, divine and thou compassion. Releases lack of patience, divine and thou compassion. Releases lack of patience, divine and thou compassion. Releases lack of patience. Silently visualize yourself being filled with the divine and Tao's love and compassion. Releasing all of the teachings, the false teachings that you were insufficient, that others judged, others criticized that you need to judge and criticize to be approved or higher than. Release the false teachings. Do not bring judgment or criticism to others. Release the need to judge or criticize others. Bring instead love and compassion. <clears throat> Visualize yourself radiating love and compassion to the children when they ask the same question five times. Give yourself offering love and compassion to those who drive in front of you and cut you off. Offer love and compassion to yourself when you do not do something to the standards that you have set for yourself. Give yourself love and compassion <coughs> when you criticize yourself for not having enough success or enough money or enough of anything that you think you should have. Love and compassion to self. Divine and thou love. Divine and thou love. Divine and thou love. See the light ball spinning. Divine and thou love. Divine and thou compassion. Divine and thou compassion, divine and thou compassion, <coughs> divine and thou compassion. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Excuse me. Let us offer our gratitude to Divine Tao and Source, to our beloved Creator. Let us offer our gratitude to all of the souls that have reminded us of our errors. <coughs> the ones that were critical and judgmental to us, we offer them our unconditional forgiveness. They reminded us that we could have been critical and judgmental to others. We release them of their spiritual debt. Let us offer forgiveness to ourself. I forgive myself for being judgmental and critical of self. I now know that my Creator has never been judgmental and critical to me, that it was incorrect wisdom and teachings, that my Creator loves me unconditionally, and I too choose to love myself unconditionally. I choose to give myself love and compassion. Therefore, I can be loving and compassionate to others. I ask forgiveness to all those that I have been impatient with, I have been critical of, all those I have been judgmental of. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay so please pay attention to how that might have uh, ex what that experience might have been like for you did you see anything did you experience uh, any shift in your heart center in your processes or thinking feel any vibration warmth uh, shift love for self um, please share Uh, Suki Singh says, Master, she felt a knot open around her chest, feeling very light now. Yeah, the message I'm getting, Suki, is a lot of that is actually um, your own crit criticism towards self. And I'm hearing that it's related to um, an upbringing in which you really, really, really wanted to please everybody else. Uh, and you basically have put yourself second uh, throughout your whole life. And, and, you're basically your love has been con unconditional for others but not for self uh, that's what I'm getting is some of the root of that <clears throat> Quincy says uh, his body is getting hot and it's also there's a comfortable involuntary shaking also he sees um, his heart chakra beaming golden light in front and the back wonderful yeah big blessings I tell you this Tao Golden light ball, golden liquid spring. This is not a little treasure, guys. This thing can send healing to anybody, anywhere. All you have to dear my Tao, golden light ball, golden liquid spring of Tao compassion. If that's too much to remember, dear my Tao compassion treasure that I have received through Master Shah. I love you. Can you please offer a blessing to my sister, my brother, to me? Help me with the stress. Can you please bless my finances? You received the permanent treasure. We just used it for this particular condition of a lack of patience. Um, but you can use it anywhere. Truly remarkable. <coughs> and then, uh, let's see. So Wayne says, yes, felt calm and light. Janice, light spinning up and down the body. Got very warm. Angela, she cried and felt like a weight has been lifted. Wonderful. Becky says, chest feels lighter, was heavy at first, and seeing a color changing. Andrea, she felt her heart was out, like I could touch her heart with her hands, and also saw the sun shining on her. Beautiful. Tears and golden uh, waterfalls, says Donna. Beautiful sharing. Uh, Shelly, huge shifts, lots of tears finally have a clearer understanding of her life and her reactions towards self and others. Wonderful, beautiful gift to yourself. Congratulations. CJ says, thank you, Master Paul. She saw herself walking as a child, picking flowers along the road. And she is walking ahead to a purple light. Um, wow, okay. Uh, Fanya, a lot of, of release in her heart chakra, inner child feeling very happy. And then uh, Mahansuk says, uh, violet blue flame light, heart center feeling much clearer. 
Donna, she also saw herself picking flowers. Interesting what people saw with their third eye, huh? I appreciate the sharing of the spiritual images. It helps others to understand the, the power and significance of this practice at this time. <clears throat> so, uh, impatience has some roots also in what's called the wood element associated with your liver for those that have anger, angry issues. Um, the, according to the traditional Chinese medicine, Eastern uh, medicine philosophies, uh, it's related to the wood element, which is related to your liver. And so oftentimes people who are very angry uh, have liver issues, alcoholism, whatnot. Uh, of course, this has deeper roots, similar to the critical roots we've just been talking about. But keep in mind that there is some association there. A lot of it is, is just being angry with life because um, a part of you know, know that what you have been receiving is false information and you've been kind of fighting it, trying to make everybody happy. So it's very interesting, the interconnectivity of how our knowingness of things at the soul level and then the physical world, how it brings itself to us can create a lot of problems in our life. This is just one way in which we can help resolve some of those blockages. And Mahan Suk says uh, they saw a violet, violet blue flame in the heart center. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay. So if anybody is interested in receiving a blessing for releasing impatience blockages, releasing blockages of self-love, self-criticism, judgment towards self, uh, because that will naturally create a, a positivity towards the way you communicate with others. It starts with self. You clear up those blockages, you can then bless others because you will no longer be critical to them because you're no longer critical to self. I recommend a crown chakra blessing. Uh, the honor fee is 100. Certainly always optional. It's not going to go anywhere. It's always going to be available uh, uh, as long as I'm doing the service anyway. But basically it's it's the fast track. You can do this kind of practice. If you do it maybe a hundred times, you can accomplish the same thing that can be accomplished with the crown chakra blessing in just a few minutes. Uh, either way, it will clear the karmic blockages and move you forward on your soul journey. One way is dramatically faster, one way takes a little bit longer, but either way works. So I'm happy to serve you. Thank you, Kristen, for posting my information. My website and all the information is listed above. Make sure if you're new and you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're interested in my podcast, which is the same recordings and audio, then also follow the links above. All right. I'm here to serve you. I will see you next uh, week. Enjoy your weekend. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light that have come. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. We'll see you next week.